Welcome to the news on Enyimba TV. We are reaching you from the commercial city of Aba. First, the headlines. Residents of Ikabara in Aba decry poor power supply in the community. Appeal Court upholds Hope Osadema's election as Ima State Governor. President Tinibu gives new matching order to join security force in renewed anti-oil theft battle. Thanks for joining us on the news at this time. I am Mary Ihejirika. Now the news in details. We are continuing with the coverage of the power situation in Aba, where power supply is still said to be epileptic in some areas in Aba. Residents of Ikabara community have mixed reactions due to poor power supply in their area. Our correspondent Amarachi Osondu spoke to a cross section of individuals in the area. <laughs> A tailor who runs a mini shop, Emmanuel Chidubem, narrated that poor power supply limits his business targets and also prevents him from getting more customers. My name is Emmanuel Chidubem Francis from Ekabara. I'm now He's affecting my business in the sense that, like, for me to deliver to my customer now, I need the lights. I have my industrial machines with the lights, it will fasten my business. But in a situation where there is no light, it will delay it, whereby I'll be having issues with my customers. Some of them that doesn't understand, we take my work to other persons, either inside town or maybe a better place. He further alleged that power supply is noticeable when service providers distribute electricity bills. The truth was, just like since Thursday, Friday, we'll be having lights, which they brought the bill on Friday. So we are hopeful now that after the bill has been taken care of, Service providers should tackle the root cause of poor power supply in the community. Electricity bills should be measured according to power consumed and not otherwise. Amarachi Osondo reporting. Court of Appeal Abuja has dismissed the appeal filed by the People's Democratic Party and its governorship candidate Samuel Anyamo challenging the decision of the Imo State Tribunal, which affirmed the election of Hope Ozadema as the authentic governor of the state. The court held that the appeal lacked merit, having resolved all issues formulated against the appellants in the suit. In the same vein, the appellate court also dismissed the appeal by the Labour Party and its candidate, Achonu Neji, and that of the Allied People's Movement for also lacking in merit. The appellants who were dissatisfied with the tribunal judgment had approached the Court of Appeal on grounds that the November 11, 2023 election was invalid because of non-compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act. Group Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Melekiari, says President Bola Tinibu has given matching orders to the Chief of Defense Staff to curb oil theft and vandalism in the Niger Delta region within the shortest possible time. He met this known while speaking to journalists at the defense headquarters in Abuja following a meeting of all security and intelligence agency heads convened by the chief of defense staff. The NNPCL board stated that achieving the desired economic stability would be impossible without curbing oil theft and other crimes in the Niger Delta region. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, in his re remarks vowed to eliminate all acts of vandalism and other criminal activities throughout the South-South region within three months. House of Representatives Committee on Defense will on Monday, July 23, 2024, meet with the Minister of Defense, Abubaka Badaru, and the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa. Chairman of the committee, Babajimi Benson, disclosed this in Abuja while briefing a handful of journalists in his office. He said the president gave the charge as part of measures to address the challenges of food security in the country. This is to ascertain how the military intends to go about the directive by President Bolatinibu for the military to cover ungoverned spaces being occupied by criminals. 
National Council on Nutrition, NCN, has approved new measures to combat malnutrition and food insecurity in Nigeria. Among the approved measures is the establishment of a National Nutrition Dashboard to be hosted by the Federal Ministry of Budget and Economic Planning. Speaking during a meeting of the Council on Nutrition held at the Presidential Villa, Vice President Kashim Shetima called for active and proactive participation from all involved. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Ejun, who spoke to newsmen after the meeting, revealed that the approval is in line with President Bolatinibu administration's efforts to improve the nutritional status of all Nigerians. Federal government says since the beginning of the year, the country has recorded a total of 3,623 suspected cholera cases and 103 deaths across 187 local government areas, LGAs, in 34 states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC, Jide Idris, disclosed this during a press conference in Abuja. He said the number of deaths translate to a cumulative case fatality rate of 2.8% since the beginning of the year. He also said rainfall has a significant impact on the spread of waterborne diseases. Association of Senior Civil Servants of Nigeria, ASCSN, is worried over the planned implementation of Orasanye report which recommended the measure and scrapping of some agencies of government to call down the cost of governance. National President of the Union, Comrade Tommy Okon, in a press briefing in Abuja, said the union is in support of the implementation of the report, but warned the federal government that job losses at this critical time in the country could lead to mass protests. He vowed that the workers will resist every attempt to sack workers while urging the National Assembly to halt the creation of more agencies. A total sum of 1.354 trillion Naira June 2024 Federation Accounts Revenue has been shared with the federal government, states and local government councils in the country. The revenue was shared at the July 2024 meeting of the Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, FAC, held in Abuja and chaired by the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Ejun. Total revenue of two billion four hundred and eighty-three thousand eight hundred and ninety billion was available in June 2024. The total deduction for the cost of collection was ninety-two point one one two billion naira. While total transfers, interventions, and reforms were one zero three seven point four zero seven billion naira. Kano State House of Assembly has passed the Kano State Emirates Council Establishment Bill 2024 after the bill scaled a third reading. The bill was sponsored by a lawmaker representing the Rimin Gado Tofa State constituency, Muhammad Belu Bututu. The bill established Kano as a first class emirate, while Ranu Gaya and Gareye would remain second class emirates. According to the bill, emirs of the three second class emirates will be answerable to the emir of Kano. Meanwhile, Governor Abba Yusuf has signed the Kano State Emirate Council Establishment Bill 2024 into law. Within 24 hours, it was passed by the House of Assembly. And still on Kano State, Kano government has filed fresh charges against the former governor of the state and the current APC national chairman, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduji. The state government accused Ganduji and former commissioner for justice, Musa Lawan, of criminal conspiracy and misappropriation. The new charges outline allegations of financial misconduct involving a substantial sum of money, according to the charge sheet. Ganduche and Lawan were accused of conspiring to misappropriate, divert, and convert $240 million for personal use. The court is yet to set a date for the commencement of the trial. Justice Hamza Muazu of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, has rejected an application by former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefiele, for permission to travel to the United Kingdom for a follow-up medical checkup. 
Justice Moazu, in a ruling, held, among others, that a Mifili failed to supply sufficient materials to show that the medical trip was essential and unavoidable. Justice Moazu found that while Emifili claimed there was an invitation for him to travel to the UK for medical attention, he failed to tender a copy of the said invitation in court. The judge also found that Emifili did not show that his ailment could not be attended to in the country. The investigative panel set up by the federal government on the two-story school building which collapsed in Jos, the Plateau State Capitol, killing over 22 persons, has released a preliminary report on the incident. Addressing journalists in Jos, the Director General, Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute, Samson Duna, revealed that weak materials were used for the building. He said that the report also depicted that the quantity of concrete used in the two-story building was in doubt as there was no boundary between the concrete and the steel reinforcement. He added that the slab reinforcement anchorage provided was also inadequate. River State House of Assembly, led by Victor Okojombo, is condemning the resolution by the Martin Amewule led House, barring Governor Simin Alaye Fubara from spending public funds. The Speaker, Victor Okojombo, stated this in his opening remark during plenary. He said what Amewule and 24 others whom he described as former members of the House, what they did was unfounded and without validity. Okojombo argued that the group had no legal capacity or moral basis to bar the governor from spending public funds. Enyemba TV recalls that Martin Amwewule led House of Assembly shut down all expenditures of the River State Governor following a seven-day ultimatum the lawmakers gave the governor to present his budget before the House. You're watching Enyemba TV News. After the short break, the news continues with foreign business and sports update. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back and thanks for staying tuned. Now the news continues. We begin with foreign. Anti-government protesters in Kenya have returned to the street, stepping up demands for President William Ruto to resign, despite his recent concessions. One man has been shot dead during a confrontation between protesters and security forces on the askets of the capital. In central Nairobi, shops were closed as police fired tear gas to disperse hundreds of demonstrators. The protests began last month against an unpopular task bill which has since been withdrawn by the president, but they have continued morphing into broader anger over bad governance, corruption and police accountability over the death of of dozens of demonstrators at recent rallies. And on business, the International Monetary Fund yesterday downgraded its forecast for Nigeria's economic growth in 2024 to 3.1%, citing weaker growth recorded in the first quarter of the year, first quarter 2024. The new forecast was contained in the July 2024 World Economic Outlook of the IMF. The downgrade the downgrade represents 0.2 percentage points below the earlier forecast of 3.3%. The downgrade followed weaker than expected gross domestic product, GDP, and growth recorded by the country in first quarter 2023. Data from the National Bureau of Statistics, NM NBS, show that Nigeria's gross domestic product, GDP, growth dropped quarter on quarter to 2.98% in the first quarter of 2024 from 3.46% in the fourth quarter of 2023, quarter 3, 2023. And on sports, Nigeria Olympic contingent has been named and sports fans around the country now know who will be representing the country and in which event at the Paris Olympics. Na Team Nigeria will soon depart for the quadrennial event in the French capital. 
the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics is scheduled to commence on July 26 in France. Nigeria is scheduled to compete in the prestigious tournament. Since the country made its debut in Helsinki in 1952, Nigerian athletes have appeared in every edition of the Summer Olympic Games, except for Montreal 1976 as part of the Congolese-led boycott. A total of 82 Nigerian flag bearers will be competing in at least 11 games in 2024. The Paris 2024, the event is scheduled to kick off with an explosive opening ceremony on July 26. While Paris is the main host city, some competitions might begin as early as July 24 and other French cities may also co-host events. With a sports story, we'll wrap up this edition of news on Enimba TV at this time. But before we go, here is a recap of the top stories. In the news, we told you residents of Ikabara in Aba have decried poor power supply in the community. We also told you that appeal court has upheld Hope Osadema's election as Imo State Governor. And we told you President Tinibu has given marching order to join security force in renewed anti-oil theft battle. That's our package of news for now. Please join us for more updates in our subsequent bulletins. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Click on the notification bell to receive alerts when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching. On behalf of the production team, I am Mary Ihejirika saying to have yourself an amazing day.